Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, thank you for joining me for yet another weekly update where I tell you about the kinds of things that I've been up to this week. Um, as always, I want to start off with a big th thank you to all of my sponsors on pa Patreon who pay for the time that I spend on Inkscape. Uh, thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to help them and increase the amount of time that I can spend on Inkscape, please do consider jo joining them. Um, but let's dive right into what we have this week. So if you've watched the pre previous few videos, you'll notice that I've been doing the multi-page upgrades. Uh, these are a bunch of features and fixes for the um, multi-page work that we did for 1.2 and continuing that on and adding extra features and things in, into them. Um, what I wanted to do this week is fix this very specific problem that cropped up in user, user testing with multi-page, which is uh, people kept on using the export dialog in order to export a multi-page document, uh, especially a PDF, not realizing that the um, batch exporter exports single files for each of the things that you select. So say for instance, you're exporting multiple pages, you have four pages, so you end up with four PDF files. That's uh, that's kind of its job. But users aren't wrong if they if you see a, a pattern of multiple different users seeing the same interfaces and attempting to use it in the same way. Um, so the question was, is that um, you know how do you how do you go about fixing this problem? And um, uh, if you saw the, the 1.2 feature live stream that we did with Chris Rod Rogers and Tim, uh, we actually discussed some possibilities of using the batch e exporter as a way to select which of the pages in a PDF do document that you'd want to export. Uh, and that's precisely the, the feature that I wanted to try and work on this week. Uh, the idea being that you can use the export to essentially collate together uh, a bunch of different selections into one PDF document or, or even into one SVG document. It doesn't actually matter. Um, and so this is where this is where I got stuck. So I really, really don't like the batch exporter user interface that was designed. I think that the multiple export rows are very cramped and they don't do a good job of explaining like which of the options that you're setting right now in the batch exporter for each one of these things and which of the options you will have available when you know you want to export to this jpeg and to this png or to this pdf or what have you um so i spent some time maybe foolishly uh, going for some walks, writing down some design ideas for like what what i wanted to do then i transposed them into glade uh, which is the, the, the toolkit that we use to build some of the user interface stuff. And um, I started mocking up like how I would improve the batch exporter di dialogue specifically. Um, I kind of ran away with it. Like I kind of did some really cool things. I was very interested in it, but um, it was a bit much. And I was never going to be able to complete anything, uh, not in a week's time, but probably not in a couple of weeks' time. So I had to make a call on like, am I doing page work or am I doing a export dialogue improvement project? Um, so I, what, it, what I did was is I've cut my losses with the design. Uh, I've done a bunch of design work and uh, I'm going to call out to you guys uh, what kind of uh, collation interface would you expect? Uh, I have three different options that are have different levels of work behind them. One, which is to have a checkbox, uh, like the selected only check checkbox, it would apply to every single export option. You click on it and every single one of them exports a collated document instead of multiple page, multiple files. Um, there's a checkbox that's stuffed into, that, into each one of those lines so that the checkbox applies to each one of those lines and collates based upon whether it's checked or not. And the third and the most, uh, the one that I wanted to do is the full design of basically creating, um, you know, refactoring that that export and dialogue so that the the batch exporter is more uh, 
useful, I'm going to say, but not more, more consistent, actually. Um, but that obviously involves a lot more work. Um, I'm going to hopefully be putting on some uh, examples of what that would look like. Uh, but let, let, let me know, because I don't really want to uh, go after this particular fe feature um, if people don't see like a big value in it and the checkbox would do fine. Um, but that's not to say that I just did design. So I actually did the fe fe feature itself, I actual code to collated doc documents in the export dialog. Um, I'm going to show you what that looks like, but what I've done is to, to develop the fe feature, I've nailed it in so that it always does it. Obviously, I can't merge this as it is because it, it, I can't collate everybody's documents all of the time. Um, but so, so that I knew that it, it could work, it does three different things. It can take multiple pages, whichever ones you select, and export them to a single PDF or a single SVG. Uh, it can take multiple selections that are separate. So it basically it takes the area of the selected items exports each one of those as a page, uh, which can be quite useful. Um, or it can do the selected only chat, chat box where it takes uh, each of the selected objects and it creates a page for each one of those selected objects. For that third, third one, it was actually one of the most difficult to work out in the code. What that means is that if you have, say for instance, 10 objects all piled on top of each other in Inkscape, you select all 10 things and you use this collation method to produce one SVG file, you will end up with a document with 10 pages, one object per page. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so the functionality is ready, is there. Um, while I was writing this code, I actually had to create a, um, a cleanup fun function that could remove any objects that weren't on any page. Uh, and instead of just having that in the code, I decided to express that in the pages tool toolbar. So I've gone ahead and added an extra button using the little va vacuum icon. When you click on that, it'll delete any object that's not on a page. Um, you know, just in case that's a thing that you might want to do. Um, but that's about what I have been getting up to. I have been doing some other stuff. I suppressed what warnings in the export, sorry, the manage extensions and export web. Uh, Python code. Uh, there was a bunch of fixes for the Python editor. The Python, too much. Uh, for the pattern editor. Do you remember the pattern editing fun functionality? There was a bunch of fixes that needed to happen for that to tidy it up and get it merged. And a bunch of other fixes have gone in um, for some of the pre pre previous work, but you've already heard about all those things. Uh, one of the really interesting things that I can now move into uh, features and fixes from, from other parts of the Inkscape pro pro project, um, these are things that other developers are up to that I didn't do, um, is Habir, who has been, who has decided to help me out with the multi-page work by doing the clip to page, what he's calling a preview, um, but it's still under heavy development. Um, but I wanted to give a shout out and a thank, thank, thank you to him because uh, it'll save me some time uh, sorting out this particular fe feature. It's where it essentially um, stops displaying anything that's outside of a page, uh, which you know is very useful if you're trying to pre preview what it is you would end up print, print, printing, for example. Um, other things that other people have been getting up to, um, Raphael has uh, fixed a bunch of memory leaks in the export di dialog, which is great. Um, and uh, he's corrected a bunch of uh, y-axis flipping problems. Um, he also helped me with the pattern editing. Uh, big thank you to him for helping with the transformations and the skew pro problems we were having there. And uh, PBS has been working on some uh, radical improve improvements to the speed of patterns. Uh, that work's not done, but I figured it was worth giving him a shout out since it's, it's a lot of change. Uh, but the speed improve, improve, improve improvements are amazing, so it's great. It's great work, um, and that's about it for this week. I'm sorry, I think this video is running long, but um, do let me know what you think, how we're getting on for one 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 point three, and if you've been using Inkscape this summer. And uh, I'll see you all next week.